on October 20th, 2010, the UN passed a resolution declaring the first week in February World Interfaith Harmony Week. So this year, 2011, February 1st to 7th, is the first World Interfaith Harmony Week. When you think about it, since its inception in 1945, the United Nations has continuously brought together geopolitical leaders from around the world to attempt to work out issues of conflict and to work for world peace. So it's more than about time for leaders of the world's different faiths to do similarly. We need to recognize that the moral imperatives of all of the world's religions call for peace, tolerance, and mutual understanding. A commitment that uh, we are partners with God in repairing and healing our world. Mm -hmm. We look around uh, this community and we see people in distress. We see people living on the margins of society. Our fellow men, women, and children who uh, lack uh, the blessings of uh, good health, of nutrition, of education. Uh, of living in safe and secure housing, of food on the table each day. And surely we as people of faith uh, feel uh, powerfully the obligation uh, to uh, work together to uh, better our society. It starts with, uh, with, with projects that we can work on together. Uh, it, uh, involves, it may involve soup kitchens, it may involve, uh, I'll give you an example, last year we were privileged to host a, an interfaith hunger summit we brought together faith leaders uh, at our Board of Rabbis and Jewish Federation, uh, faith leaders, uh, activists, uh, people on the front lines of uh, feeding the hungry to say, what are we doing and what more can we be doing together? So I invite anyone who is listening to this Just Action video to go to the website of the World Interfaith Harmony Week um, or the United Nations because you can access it on either site and learn something about other of the world's faith and pray for peace. I'm sure there are other events that we could publicize throughout the diocese and even throughout the world, but one particular event happening in the Diocese of Los Angeles will occur on Wednesday evening, February 16th, beginning at 7.30 p.m. at All Saints Church in Pasadena. John Philip Newell, the former warden of Iona Abbey and writer and spiritual director out of the uh, Celtic spiritual tradition, will be leading a group of us and anyone who chooses to attend in chants for peace. And those chants will be from the three Abrahamic traditions. Uh, a chant from the Psalter, representing the Jewish faith, chant from the Holy Quran, representing the Islamic faith, and chants from the Gospel of Matthew, uh, blessed are the peacemakers, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, obviously representing the Christian faith. So I invite you to join us in Chants for Peace on Wednesday evening, February 16th.